whenever you are stepping up is about the ability of that individual to be able to determine what might be certain in an uncertain environment and having the capability to bring the team around you to be able to shape that but also for you as a leader to ensure that you are taking time out to set the strategy so that leads us neatly on to stepping up I suppose what would be useful is, is for you to think about a role or a couple of roles that you felt at the time were perhaps a, a leap in faith by the employer, where you thought, I'm going to seize this opportunity, where someone put faith in you in terms of what you might have been able to, what they thought you might be able to bring and what you could deliver. Um, this is where people are finding themselves at the moment. And I think what's very important is to give them a level of comfort in terms of what they are stepping into. And if you would remind mind us what it felt like, the challenges that you dealt with, and equally what you might have done differently when you look, look back. Would you like to take us through a, a, a couple of examples of, if you have, of any of those roles? Yes, I think, I think um, um, during my, all my, you know, all along my career, um, there involves a lot of stepping ups, as, as we mentioned, because each time you you step into a new organization, and in particular in a um, in a different industries as well, um, you have to step up yourself to the challenge. Um, and um, I I had quite a few examples of that. You know, as I mentioned in my early days, um, I had a scientific background, and then I learned through business and strategy and finance. Uh, Wire McKinsey. Then I joined the telephone company, and at the time that was, uh, you know, in the uh, in the late eighties. Um, and telephone companies are mostly monopolies in you know in in the world. Um, and um, but actually at that time, um, the one of the reason they they hire me is saying that because the company and the whole industry is going through a a process of deregulation, and so. You have to move on from a monopoly to a to make yourself a lot more competitive, and and that involves a cultural change. So you see, um, you were talking about the, the 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 board or the 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 company has a has a trust and faith in you in bringing you in. Um, you have to step up, but they actually they are actually stepping up their game as well in hiring someone yep. um, to an organization. In my case. They hire me because they want to change agent. Okay, when you think about stepping up, a lot of the time when you're going into something, doing something different, um, mm. that you have to change, and the company is changing as well. So you have to match that and align that, um, and and find a common objective. Um, so I spent a lot of time before I decided to join the company in really talking to. At that time, I, I, I was recruited as a director of strategy um, at the GM level, reporting to the CEO directly. Um, okay. And it's, it's a new position. So, so, but I was young. I was much younger than all the other GMs. I was 29 at that time. And, wow. and all the other seven GMs in the organization are 50 plus. So that is a huge cultural change thing. Um, you have a 29 years old helicopter in, so the key, the key challenge for me at the time is how to get the recognition and how to get the yep. trust um, and build a working relationship. William, so that was a, I just asked, yeah. did, when you stepped into that role, did you realize just what the chasm was that you were getting, into, getting yourself into? Oh yes, yes, absolutely. I, I spent a lot of time because, because the, the telephone company was my client. So, that yeah. was one of the good things. So I yeah. have been working along with these old GMs for um, over <laughs> one over one and a half years in four So you were, known, you were a known entity. Yes, a known entities. But even that, you know, being a third party consultants and yeah. uh, you know brainstorming and working out strategy and having a pine at the end of the meeting is a good mm. thing. But then suddenly you you come in and sit at the same level as them. Is, yep. is, is a different challenge. Um, and, and you have to establish that peer-to-peer -peer thing. Um, um, and, but, but that is exactly what the board um, wanted to do at that time. Um, they, they were thinking about if they have to move um, from a monopoly to a competitive 
um, company. The key thing is, well, which when I was in McKinsey, identifying the study saying that the biggest thing is a cultural change yeah. and how you bring a lot of cultural change if you have the same people, that's very difficult. So you need change agent. But that, that, that involves a lot of more than just like when you are a consultant, but you are doing you know, logical thinking, problem analysis, strategy formulation, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But when you actually go into a, um, a corporation mm -hmm. and, and the way I jump in and stepped in like that, it takes a lot about people management. So a lot okay. of stepping up depends on the extent, but a key part of stepping up is about how you work with people, um, yeah. whether it's the board, um, you know, above you, your peer, and your, you know, um, your direct reports. Where do you focus? Because you've only got so much time in a day and you've got to do things in the right order. So can you remember, it was a little while ago, but, and, we, and it might well be there's another role we can look at where this was uh, equally apparent. Can you remember where you started and, and perhaps what you did and didn't get right? Well, if I look back, I think, I think, I think, I think even when I was in McKinsey, we, we helped yeah. a lot of companies went through this, this change management, you know, cultural change, yeah. you know, um, emergent acquisition. Like emergent. Yeah. So, so we have all this here. Yeah. And we're actually doing it. It's doing it is enough. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's very different things yes. because um, we're always saying that consultant is easy. From A to B is a straight line. It's the fastest way. But in real life, it's like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, if I if I have to if I well, with hindsight, um, yes, I yeah. think um, I think I can do it with more patience. More important, uh, okay. um, firstly, because relationship takes time to build. Yeah, yeah. Trust takes time to build. So yeah. um, um, you can't fast track that, and and so being able to to build the trust and work with something together. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so the process is very important as well. Um, it's not just the result, the process, whether you, you are engaging in certain tasks, um, whether you, you succeed or fail, it doesn't matter sometimes. It's a process of engaging people. So that is a skill. I think I, 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 I learned a hard way when I was with, um, with the telephone company, but subsequently, um, yes. as you mentioned, in the following stepping ups, um, this was like, with city, wasn't it? With city, when you like, like, in, like, yeah, like, like, like in city. So, I in that particular one, I, I, I was stepping in not just another huge organization, a global bank, um, in one of the largest at that time, and I was stepping into a new industry as well. I have yeah. no particular um, industry experience in banking, yeah. um, but the. But the board and the chairman at that time, the Citibank uh, City Group chairman was John Reed. Um, yeah. He he gave me a lot of assurance. He was he was actually very visionary and, and and told me because when when I had that that interview with him, I was is is I interview him, not he interview me because they have done enough you know um, background works on me already. Um, but I, I was I was I was I was shocked to be I was surprised at least to say. Um, that um, they're interested in someone who is a non-banker to actually not even in a um, executive role, but really taking up the, the CEO role. Mm. And, and, and he was saying that, you know, um, his vision is at the time, and that was um, 1998. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and he was saying that um, his belief in is Technology, um, well, put like this, no matter which industry you're in, the underlying thing, key theme is about technology. Whether it is front end of the banking is about internet in the future, or the middle office and the back office is about technology as well, and about data as well. And it, it was very, very visionary in, in the late 90s in saying yeah. that. And even more so, um, he said that actually, you know, in our organization, we have a lot of expertise in banking products. We know inside out about banking. So I don't need another banking, guys. Yeah. I need yeah. someone to come in and being able 
have certain technology background and know about how can leverage, leverage, he used the word, and that's a very important word. Um, that is perhaps, if there is one word I learned when my, even in my McKinsey day is about leverage. Mm -hmm. You being able to, to get something and leverage that. And then yep. because leverage is topic about multiple times. So you know about technology and you've been able to leverage that with, you know, and work with other, um, you know, specialized or specialist experts in a particular industry. So I went, I stepped into city um, and I know that I was surrounded by people, bankers. Um, they know banking inside out, risk management inside out, credit card, mortgage, et cetera, et cetera, inside out. And I being able to tell them, hey, um, how can I, how can we leverage technology to make the organization, the banking, uh, a, 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 a better place to serve our customer? You know, that's the key. Um, so, so you know, that's, yeah, yeah that's stepping in, actually involve not only um, into a new organization of mm. which the people management thing is very, very important. Yep. But it's also being able to tell the people that, hey, I'm here to work with you. I know you are the expert and I, 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 I need how that. Did, did um, that. How did that wash, William? Because <clears throat> effects with us saying, you're the CEO, you're supposed to know where we're going, William. Um, you're supposed to know what we're about and what we're doing. Um, we can just pull the wool over your eyes, by the way, because you don't know what we're doing. So how did you know that you were getting what the information you needed? How did you know the wool wasn't being pulled over your eye? And how did you leverage that, that position that you're saying you were presented to in? Well, it, it, takes, it takes a bit of convincing to do, actually. Um, yeah. um, because um, the, the key thing is, the key underlying thing is, um, we were saying that it doesn't matter which industry you are in. Yeah. The key thing, whether you are a bank or you're a telephone company or you're a fashion retailer is the same. You're trying to find the best way to, to develop a, the best value proposition to your customer. So when everyone is focusing on the customer um, yeah. and how to provide them with the best you know, value proposition, it doesn't matter which particular product it is. Even yeah. in a bank, whether you're providing them a mortgage, as I said, or credit card, or a time deposit or whatsoever, it's still the same. Um, um, so I would say, hey, hey, we get all these, you tell the guys, we get all these fantastic um, uh, banking products already. Mm -hmm. is, is the way to actually serve the customer that's better. Because as a matter of fact, banking, insurance, and a lot of other things, they are getting less and less you know, differentiation between products. People can copy products very easily. You can do that, I can do that. I can give a higher interest rate, you can get a higher interest rate. <laughs> you know, I can get free grips for a, to apply for a credit card. You can do the same as well. Um, so it's about you know, the, the distribution and it's also about the, um, the, the, the services you give to the customer, um, which is matters. So we have to think along all these things. Um, and so, so you'll be able to tell the product guy that, um, you're actually working with them, being able to help them to actually, you know, serve their customer much better. And, and together we have the vision of propelling the bank or, or stepping up the whole organization of stepping yeah. up the bank. I think that is important. It's not just, just we are doing the stepping up. It's a whole organization is stepping up. Very, very interesting. And, and I think therefore it's also about aligning the organization in terms of what their real strategy was, which was in actual fact, customer delivery, probably customer acquisition as well, but it was the consumer and what you're delivering to them.